Everybody's all stretched out. Now they're ready to butt heads. The Big Ten about to kick off. That's going to wrap it up here in the studio, but we'll be here to keep you up to date on everything else going on in college football throughout our game. But it's time for ESPN's College Football. Brad Nessler and Kirk Herbstreet on the call. We're right here on Lake Michigan today in Evanston, Illinois, getting ready to serve you this exciting matchup. EA Sports and ESPN bring you this exciting college football game. Hi, everybody. I'm Brad Nessler, joined by Kirk Herbstreet, and we'll hear from Aaron Andrews on the sidelines and Reese Davis in the studio throughout the game. This presentation of college football is brought to you by Coke Zero. Real Coke taste, zero calories. Enjoy everything. Today's game is between the Michigan Wolverines and the Northwestern Wildcats. Closer and closer to the end of this college football season as we continue to bring all the excitement with this game. Before we head down to the field for the coin toss, we'd like to remind you this game is brought to you by Coke Zero. Real Coke tastes, zero calories. Enjoy everything. It's second down. Across the middle. What a throw. Factor right now against this offense. Britain options out to the left. He's at the 40. To the 20. The 10. Touchdown, Michigan. That was simply sensational running. And it shows you what kinds of major things can happen when you have a good ground game. Things up here. Can't find anyone open. And they make the stop at the 49-yard line. Gun, five wide receivers. Gonna go across the middle, caught. For the 20, for the 10. Touchdown, Wolverines. Here. On the ground, inside. The running back carries for 10 yards on the draw play. Changing things up here before the snap. Perkins gets another carry. Perkins and they'll bring him down eight. behind the line. That is a loss of two yards. Brought down at the 29. Now he's scrambling. Looking for the corner. He's at the 20. Slides down. Option. Tackle made at the 20. That might have had. Looking to throw. I know the defense would have liked to have prevented such a big game, but the important thing is that they held and brought up fourth down. the call he's to the 40 across midfield at the 30 the 10 dives and gets the score I can guarantee you'll be seeing zips it to the tight end he's tackled at the 31 yard line they just inch past the mark and he's gone with five wideouts Throws it in a hurry. Touchdown. He'll take it all the way for the touchdown. You need to try something. Can't find anyone open. And they make the stop at the 43-yard line. Back to pass. Scrambling around. And he's taken down around the Looks like an option here. And he's tackled after positive yards there to match up against the five wide set. Back to pass. It is he throws and it's going to be picked off. That 
That's a great tackle at the 42. He drops back. And he's going to come up with a sack. Man, these guys can be... Going over the middle, intercepted. They'll bring him down right around the 46. And it's caught. He's at the 30. He's tackled. Throws quickly into the end zone. Caught for the touchdown. Care of the football. These guys need to remember that on this drive. Dangerous throw. This one's picked off at the 30. And he's tackled at the 20-yard line. They bring him down. You know, Brad, I think this is being asked to be able to be physical and make tackles, but also now we're starting to see them blitz more and more. And this young... He drops back. This one's going deep to the end zone. And it's caught for the touchdown. He might audible out of that play. Now he tries to buy some time. The ball is loose. Inside the 30. And they make the stop right around the third. Heading pass here. He passes it. Fires quickly and they got it. Touchdown. They've changed things up here. And they'll get him in the backfield. Back all by himself in the backfield with five wideouts. They bring the quarterback down. Extra defensive backs as the offense comes up five wide. Britton on the option right. He's out to the 30. At the 40. The 50. Down the sideline. At the 40. To the 20. Number 22. And he's brought down. Goes for the touchdown, and it's going to be an interception. Fred, not only. And it looks like they're going to change it up here. He drops back. Quick throw. He gets hit out of bounds. Around the 20. Try to change the play. Perkins takes a pitch. He might have a chance. Inside the 10. Just a great. They've decided to go for it here. And they've got the dime package in there to try and deal with this five receiver look. He passes it. He's tackled at the 33. We'll wait and see here if he really does change the play. He's scrambling. The 10. Tackled at the four-yard line. And he's going to be sacked for a loss. the stop at the six. The six yard line. He's looking to pass. Halfback's got it on the quick throw. He's knocked out of bounds at about the three backfield. They go with the option. Down the sideline. Has some daylight. Inside the 30. Touchdown. Touchdown, Michigan. To change the play here. He gets sacked on the play. That is a loss of 10 yards on the play. Third down. Brown back to throw. And a quick throw. The 10. Touchdown. Huge play. The wideout here truly knows what he has to do to contribute to make his team successful. They got great concentration from everyone to connect on that flag pattern. A 
fun week for one team, a nightmare for the other. It's final. Michigan, 49, Northwestern, 24. 24. As we take a look at the highlights, Kirk, how would you summarize the action in this one? Well, there is no question as to who the better team was today, Brad. Northwestern did not believe that they had a chance in this one from the start. You could see it in their eyes. You know what? Football is not just a game of brawn or muscle. It's a game that also requires a lot of mental preparation. These guys were not mentally prepared to win this football game. Here's another look at our selection for the EA Sports Player of the Game. For Michigan, they pick up a big win today, upping their record to 8-2. and two. And for the Wildcats, they rack up another loss, possibly hurting their chances for a bowl invite. For EA Sports, Kirk Herbstreet and Aaron Andrews, I'm Brad Nessler saying thank you for tuning in, and we'll see you next time.